opportunity. When you're hiring somebody, you need to assure they understand what they need to be doing. And also you need to hold them accountable. So there's an accountability function that I put into my business. If a person is not hitting their appointment goal that I set for them, I asked them to send me an email and explain why they're not doing it. For two weeks straight, this young lady did not send me an email, let me know why she didn't get her appointments after not getting her appointments for two weeks consistently. I get her on the phone. I ask her, I say, hey, why are you not getting your appointments? What's going on? What can I do to help you? I, if you know me, you know that I'm a people person, but also I'm, we have to make money and we, we have to provide, right? So I'm like, hey, why are we not hitting our goals? What's going on? First thing she does is blame something else. Ask her again a couple weeks later. First thing she does is blame something else. It's never her fault. Whenever I can easily see that there's leads in our system that just aren't being followed up with, right? I would prefer to hear the truth. Hey, I'm just not following up as well as I should be. I can change that. But immediately, like I said, you should be slow to hire, quick to fire. When you see an issue and you know that you have a system, the big thing is developing a system. I know I have a system that works. So a person can't tell me that it's anything that I'm doing um, or that or that it's the system that's working because I've already proven that my system works. Does that make sense? So then I don't have an issue hiring or changing systems. I have an issue with the person. And the moment that I put the wrong person in place, the system won't work. You put the right person in place, the system continues to run.